Good evening. I thought I'd do uh, it's eight o'clock at the minute, and I'm going to watch uh, a program on the subject I'm going to speak about now. Um, a paranormal. But before I get to that, I've done um, a video today out. I'm just in the middle of doing it now. Um, it's nearly ready, but I'm not going to put that up yet. I'm going to put this vlog up first. Um, I watched a good mate of mine, Graham. If you're watching Graham, I know you watch it. Probably tomorrow <laughs> or whatever. But uh, I watched your. Um, I apologise to you, Graham, and anybody else. For some reason, I've not been getting notifications in my feed in subscriptions for some reason. Uh, some videos are there, some videos are not. And um, after you sent me the comment about saying check this uh, apparition in the window of the mental, I went to look on the channel and because there's loads of videos I haven't seen so I watched them. I, I probably got a few more to watch but uh, you know I don't know what's happening. It happens like that sometimes and then it'll come back to normal. So, you know, I'm sorry about that to anybody uh, if I haven't watched your videos. Anyway, what I'm going to say is that is clearly seen in the window. I could see it. Now, here's what's special about that. must be one of the best videos I've seen. And I'll tell you why I say that. Um, I've used night vision specialist equipment to film stuff that is filmed on a normal camera in the day and you can clearly see something and before people go off their heads it's I haven't said it's a ghost I haven't said it's a person whatever an apparition it's a figure it's a thing whatever it is you can see it clearly in the window and it moves out of shot. Now, for anybody else who doesn't know what the hell I'm going on about, Graham uh, WXPM does a lot of videos in the mental, as we call it, or the North Wales Hospital. It was a mental asylum opened many years ago and closed around 1995, 96, I think it was. Um, has gone into rapid, well, what can you call it? Rapid, um, fall into bits with the help of outside people, not Denby people or Denby kids, outsiders coming in and trashing the place. You know, they should be shot against a wall. You can go in there, look at it, picture it, video it and leave, but no. And fair play to Elwin, you know, I've seen him in a different light. You, you can't blame him because, he's, like he says, you can't categorise people. Everybody's the same because they've all spoiled it. Anyway, one of the best apparition or, you know, something in the window videos I've ever seen in the daylight. And as for the, the friary... Uh, your, well, powers or sensitivity is growing. Believe me, your sensitivity is growing. Because now you're hearing things. Um, it'll be good to clarify, actually. Have you always heard things, but you've never mentioned it? Or is it just in the last, you know, year or months that you've started to pick up audio you know in your ears hearing things because you heard like voices echoing voices now I was excited to hell when I heard that because you didn't realize did you until I commented echoey voices and you couldn't understand it that friary now yeah it's open there's no roof there's only three walls but then it would have been a church or friary but it would have been like a church. So, you know, monks or friars or whatever they were in there praying and chanting or whatever they do. 
it would have echoed. And that's what you've heard. Bloody amazing it is. So your senses are getting stronger. Bloody, I don't think you realise it. It's um, fantastic stuff. So yeah, brilliant video. Good capture that. And the video wasn't even paranormal, was it? You weren't doing over it. You know, you were just doing a like this, you know, piece to the camera, and it was in the background. Fantastic. Um, you know, people could try for years to get something like that. I think personally, um, I think you'll get a lot of, you know, like uh, sounds, figures, and activity because like I said before if someone's a sensitive you could have a hundred people in that hospital or whatever and you will stand out like a beacon I think to them because they know he can hear us he can see us he can sense us whatever or she and they will be drawn and then that will create all this activity um, I could go to the hospital tomorrow and for, for a year I may get sad all because a lot of things I've captured on camera have been when I'm with him, with Graham, with you Graham. So anyway, uh, I'm putting this vlog up first. I'm going to watch uh, Thursday night. There's a lot of paranormal stuff on TV on the free view. So I'm going to watch that now and then um, I'll put this other video in the woods. What it was it's a video I've done on some, uh, I've had questions on um, comments and private messages on what, camping, when am I going camping, what do I use, can I show it in videos, and I've decided to show one of my stoves um, in use in the woods, and uh, I've got many stoves, I've got many um, cooking pans and all sorts of stuff so gradually I will do some more you know videos like that because there's a big seems to be a big interest in camping while camping equipment um, so yeah I will do it so thanks for watching it goes on again look on and on I've sorted that square out now I've got nothing following my face <laughs> anyway nice one Graham and um Thanks for watching and I'll speak to you soon.